what's going on YouTube AJ here now I know it looks a bit different you're hearing like cars going and such well this is actually just a little vlog plus a little I would say story too I decided to, I'm just taking my walk so yeah all the noise is just you know cars trucks buses passing by I'm just walking like here in the complex and you know decided to talk to y'all so it's a bit cold it's a bit cold out here but it doesn't bother me because I'm never cold but I still bundle up because I don't want to get a cold <laughs> so like <sighs> yeah to be honest, I always I love doing going for walks. Before I didn't like it, but I like it now because of just you know like if you walk in the cold, yeah it's cold. But if you're someone like me who never gets cold and likes the cold weather, it's perfect for you. Right. I'm gonna go ahead and walk to the lake because you know I always walk I always walk to the lake when I go for my walks though. And then just like turn back around to my house and then back to the lake. So, yeah. Okay guys, so I'm actually here at the lake. I think though. Yeah, so. Hmm. Oh, I was gonna say like there's no ducks, but I see some like right in this person's backyard. <laughs> so yeah, let me show you guys real quick. It's like the whole lake right here. Usually there'll be like geese and such. Well, mostly geese here. And I don't see any because I usually see some when I'm walking here. I see some at like this neighbor's backyard. <laughs> so to talk about uh, from yesterday's video, when I said how did I become a gamer, I said I would do a video on how these video games help me when I'm feeling down and when I'm depressed. Okay, so like, I was trying to get distracted, but to talk about how this game helped me is by this, see. Like I said, my favorite game is Mario Party 7. And how that game helps me is that it's music and the whole plot and concept of the game is just what gets my mind off things that upset me. If there's anyone that upsets me or something that upsets me, uh, there's a couple of things I do. Besides gaming, that actually, you know, makes me feel better. Like, you know, it makes me forget what was I upset about. I mean, I may remember it, but I, I'd be forgetting it pretty well. So, besides gaming, which is one of them, uh, the second thing is going for a walk. Now, I don't usually go for walks a lot, but I decided, I started going for walks, like, right before I moved from these apartments I've been living at for years since like kindergarten and I wasn't someone who liked walking because my feet always hurt it but I enjoyed walking a lot especially when it's cold outside like it was already May and it's like still cold but it's gonna get warm of course and I don't like I like the warm weather I like the summer but the thing is I'm not a warm person I don't like you know to be walking in the hot much because 
you know, you're burning up and so and so. You just like don't want that to happen. But that's why like when it's cold, I, I walk better. Like I have my phone, I listen to my music while I walk and it'd be better. However, these old apartments I used to live at, that I liked walking there. I, the only reason I liked living there was because I was near a convenience store, so I could just walk there to, you know, uh, buy a snack or play my mom's numbers. But mostly, I just liked walking because each complex was perfect. Everything here is just like the same, and then there's like some areas you can't even walk at. And I really dislike that that happened. The uh, second thing that helps me when I'm feeling upset besides a walk is taking a nap. Now, I take naps pretty much almost every day, but then I'm someone who stays up all night. I'm like someone who just stay up, like just up gaming, doing this, doing that. And it doesn't really bother me much. I'm like someone who's like an owl or a vulture, whatever animal like stays up a lot. I stay up like all night till like almost four or five in the morning and then once like four o'clock or five o'clock hits that's when you know i go to sleep and then i'd be waking up around 10 or 11 and throughout the time i'm just you know uh i'm gaming of course and i'm well, mostly gaming and walking but i'm going off topic but yeah when i take a nap it makes me feel better when i'm upset because all you have to because all i do is just you know turn my phone off and just take a nap because taking a nap is helpful because you be forgetting what upsets you like uh i will give like a example you come home from school you had like a bad day someone you know bullied you or something like that usually you could talk to somebody and that's actually another thing that helps me when i'm feeling down but the nap is the most thing, because I'm someone who likes to take a nap during the day. I mean, at least like once, I would take like a one hour, half hour, two hour. I even take a three hour nap, which is crazy. So I take a nap, and I'd be waking up like, what was I mad about? <laughs> so it does make me forget what pisses me off and so and so. And also, I said talking to a friend helps. But lately, if I could say right now, Friends is just something not worth these days. Like, I don't know what's going on, but, like, I have a friend. I don't know what's wrong with, with her, but... <sighs> I just think I probably... I think I did something or whatever, but... You know, it is what it is, okay? I just... If she sees this video, I just pray the best for her. Because... I just don't want to lose a friend. I mean, there's been times I lost friendships because of arguments or because, like, it was my fault because of something. So, usually stuff like that is what I want to get away from. Like, example is to just, you know, uh, get off social media because sometimes you see someone on social media, they'll piss you the hell off and you'll just, like, like, all I would do would just be not to be on social media. Like, just log out. Like, <laughs> excuse me. Like, Facebook is one of them. I don't use Facebook much anymore. I mean, the only time I use it is to just check some stuff sometimes. But, in general, I don't really use the app most of the time. Because most times my app is either logged out or it's logged in and I just don't check it. I still get notifications. But Facebook is just boring. But yeah, that's like four things. Uh, playing video games, taking a nap talking to a friend I'll also say talking to a family member also but that's if the family member doesn't blabber it out to your parents because that that's just just something I don't like and then uh, gaming taking a nap talking to someone uh, the fourth one actually this fourth one actually was there a fourth one I said take I said gaming taking a nap uh, talking to someone, I forgot what that fourth one was, but like, there's actually like a fourth thing I did that usually helps me, and I'm like already forgot what it was, oh yeah, the fourth one is kind of the same thing as number one, 
go for a drive, like, you know, just get in your car, drive around, go to, like, you know, your favorite place, you know, eat something. Usually starting like that can help a lot. And between what's going on with me now, it's just too much right now, and I don't like it. But, like, my grandpa, he was always a going out type, not going out like that but just someone you know who always goes out during the day like even when he's off he goes out here's what me and him used to do like on days when I had no school because it was spring break or a holiday or uh, it was summer vacation me and him would like uh go out like the thing is he'll wake me up like nine or ten o'clock tell me to get dressed go into town and we go to the bank, then we go to McDonald's. You know, McDonald's was his favorite place. It's my favorite place too, but he loved it a lot. Because all of his friends were there, and they always hung out. We always went to McDonald's for like an hour and a half. And he always got the same thing, just like I always get the same thing. McDonald's was his hangout spot. Even though his friends had a clubhouse, which was, he called the tree house. <laughs> it was just literally them just chilling outside. Well, only when it's, you know, warm out. But, like, if he was still here, I would be, like, not that stressed out. Because going out with him was always a great thing. It was, it, like, the grandfather-grandson bond. How can you not love it? There was a t there was someone I heard of who, like, used to always love hanging with his grandpa when he was little. But then once he turned, like, 13, he started hanging with friends. And he doesn't even like hanging out with them, no. I'm like, well, yeah, you turn into a teenager, you start to, like, not want to hang out with your grandparents, but hey, if they want to do something, you do something with them. I mean, I almost felt the same way, but I never got tired of hanging with my grandpa most of the time. I always enjoyed doing the same things. Um, besides going to the bank, uh, going to McDonald's, and then driving around, we always did a lot of stuff together. And <sighs> See, my grandpa died. The same year I graduated. I remember he came to my graduation. And. Me and him. The last time we went to McDonald's was July. Uh, that was the last time we went. And then he went back to Mississippi. Because he went back and forth to Mississippi though. And. I didn't really like that much. Because you know I always loved him being in the house though. And then. I found out he was sick. And. In September, me and my mom went to Mississippi, you know, to go see him. My uncle went back and forth. And we always visited him, like, many times. Then, when I got my first job, you know, I talked to him. He was proud of me, making that money. But then I remember one day, I was going to call, on December 22nd, I was going to call him to, you know, see how he was doing. And then I found out he passed away, which really broke my heart. <sighs> And it was just right before Christmas. So that's why I said I, I can't even celebrate Christmas that well without just, you know, thinking of him. <sighs> Man, it just, it just hurts when you don't have your grandparents around. Because they were ones you can talk to. Like, you know, they made you feel better and so and so. But, like, if he was still here and we still did that stuff together... I wouldn't be so bored, because I'd be bored a lot, and gaming does help me, and walks, but then there's always that time where you just want to just get out and do something, and my grandpa was always the king, was the king of that, he always knew I'd be bored in the house, so that's why he would take me out, to, you know, wherever he goes, and I always get interested in it, unfortunately, I don't drive, but once I get my license and my car, I will, you know, begin driving. I won't vlog and drive, well, probably, but that'll be once I get, like, a better camera. But those are four things I do when I'm, like, feeling down. I'll say them again. I play video games. I play, I, I take a nap. I talk to somebody, a family or a friend. And the fourth one is to either go for a ride. Like, you know, just drive somewhere. Go to your favorite restaurant, and you know you'll feel better. I mean, it may feel better for some people, it may not, but this is just stuff that makes me feel better a lot. So, like, 
most times when people tell you, oh, you can't, wait, I don't even know what I'm about to talk about, but, yeah, all right, I head, I head back home, uh, so yeah, this was, I know it's a small vlog, but like I said, I don't really go out because, you know, I got no, I got no social life. My social life's not the same since I actually graduated eighth grade. Cause when I graduated eighth grade, everything just was, you know, pretty well. Cause I had friends who I used to, you know, go to this park in the complex with. And going to that park was great though. Cause most times, you know, it, didn't, it wasn't a bother. I always enjoyed going to the park. So we hang out, we talk, just do a lot together. But you know, things change once you start to get older. And for me, I do miss being a little kid because that was when life wasn't so hard, though. I also remember that one of my friends, I actually remember that one of my friends actually just came and visited me here. This was the first time me and him actually hung out ever since. I left my old job. I'm not going to say what it is because I don't want them to get mad at the video. But we used to always hang out at this one job we always hung out at. And we never really got to hang out out of, out, out of work. But he came for the first time and it was a good day hanging out with him. <sighs> He's thinking of coming Monday. I got to see... Or there might be a time where I'll try to make plans, but this weekend I have a lot I got I'm trying to get done. Uh, so maybe if he come if I if he does probably come Monday, I will, you know, vlog it. You know, us playing the switch together, walking, you know, that's it. That though. So it's not really much to talk about, but I do prefer, actually, I don't even know what I'm going to talk about, but, it is something, see, this is the first time I'm actually vlogging while holding my phone upright, because I don't have my, I don't have the stick to, you know, hold it in place, but, I do hope I can get money, so that, you know, because I would use the money only for what's important, and, I would hope to get this camera, I forgot what it's called, but I've seen so many people review it back then, back when it just came out, a couple, oh, it's a bunny, <laughs> you barely see bunnies these days, <laughs> you know, a bunny or rabbit, eh, doesn't matter, I do like, I do like rabbits, not wrong with that, they're pretty cute and they're adorable, <sighs> so I, it always is something just when you, you can't really do much when you're in the house because every day was always to wake up make breakfast and then just wake up make breakfast and then just do the same thing gaming on your computer and that's pretty much it though so that's gonna be it for this vlog so I'll see you guys for my next reaction. And also make sure you guys check out my last video. The link will be in the description. Or check out the end of the video. And also stay tuned for shiny uh, videos where I catch shinies. I know they're pretty short if you've seen them. But I will try to upload longer ones as I can. So. Yeah. Well. I'll see you guys. Make sure you. But like I said, check out my last video. Like, comment, subscribe. Hey. Uh, so, yeah, that'll be pretty much it. So, I'll see you guys then. You guys have a good day. Damn, I'm getting so distracted with all these damn people for me now. I just pulled the f*** off my hey. Excuse my language. Ah, it gets so annoying when people, they see you and you're not even in their way. And they, they just freaking... Just sit there, like go. I'm not even in your way. <sighs> Again, I'll say it one more time. Ignore the freaking neighbor's dog always barking. And I'll see you guys. Bye.
with next time. It might be a different vlog or different reaction. I don't know. If you guys haven't seen my story on how I became a gamer, you can check it out. The link will be in the description. Uh, you check out my Pokemon Shinies. You check out my Smash Bros. videos. I actually will be uploading some more if I can. And uh, to also, in case you guys ask, I do, I do not have Joker downloaded, which I'm pretty still upset about. I'm messed up with money right now because I'm actually, I got a lot of stuff going on. So, I hope soon I get him because he's really fun just from watching the gameplays and such. But yeah, that'll be it. I'll, just talk, I'll talk to you guys for the next one. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and I'm out. Peace.